Welcome back for another VeChain Prize prediction analysis video. And in this video, I will be discussing the short term price action to expect for the next coming hours. And at the time of this recording, VeChain is holding above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. And the next key area of resistance that we need to see a break above lies above the 0.035. VeChain has also continued to hold above support above the 0.032. And as long as this continues to hold, I'm still expecting higher prices. VeChain has also seen a very massive breakout to the upside in a move that has now given us a local top above the 0.03576. And that was after a very nice reaction to this golden pocket that I have highlighted on the charts using this retarget area, which is an area that I gave you in my past videos, where you can see that after seeing a pullback into the area, we saw a very nice reaction to that target area in a move that has now given us a break above significant key areas of resistances, flipping them back into support giving us that local high above the 0.35 and there are high chances that in the next coming hours we are going to see another move and there are two possible scenarios that can play out in the next coming hours and the first possible scenario is that as long as you continue holding above the 20 day MA there are chances of breaking above resistance once more above the 0.035 and the moment we manage to break above that, we can easily get a retest. And the moment we get a retest, then I will be watching for a break above the local top above the 0 0.3574. And a break above that significant high, then I will have my eyes above the 0 0.037 and the 0 0.04 as my next target areas. We also need to be prepared for a breakdown move, assuming that the high that we made above the 0 0.03574 is our local top. And since we have lost support on the 0 0.035, there are chances that in the next coming hours, we can see a bit of a pullback. Since we have seen this aggressive move, making that local top with no significant pullbacks to the lower side. And what that means is that there are chances of seeing a pullback in the next coming hours where we can easily see a pullback into support on the 0 0.03, the 0 0.032. And on holding this key area of support, we can expect another bounce back. But if by any chance we lose the 0 0.032, then I will be watching for a deeper pullback into an area that can be given using the Fibonacci's connecting the Fibs from the low that we made below the 0 0.02717 to that high above the 0 0.035, giving me a pullback target area into the golden pocket between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618. And that is between the 0 0.03146 and the 0 0.03045, which is the area that I have highlighted on the charts. And this is the area within which we can expect that pullback to take us into and on holding within this golden pocket over here, there are chances that we can see much of a consolidation before we can finally see another attempt to break above resistance once again. But if by any chance we see a pullback into the golden pocket and maybe at some point we break out of the golden pocket to the lower side and maybe at some point we lose support on the 0 0.03, then I will be expecting a more bearish move where we can easily see a retest of the key area of support above the 0 0.027. That is the breakdown move that we can expect in case we lose significant areas of support here on the VeChain chart. So that is what I'm expecting for the next coming hours. And those are my breakout target areas and also my breakdown target areas. And I hope that video was of much help to you. And I hope to catch you on the next one.